Hello everybody, this is an instructional video on lessons one and two in music reading and writing. These lessons, as well as other lessons in the music uh, reading and writing series, are very useful to grade one and two theory students as well. So if you are at that level, please view the videos and study these lessons and uh, also work on the worksheets of these lessons. Now, um, a little piece of advice, it would be good before you actually view the video to study the pages. There are four pages in total in these two lessons. Study the pages and then view the video because I think it will make much more sense. But if you are not doing that and you're just viewing the video now without having seen the pages, that's fine. Just make sure that after you finish viewing, study the pages and then view the video again. All right, so let me just go through a few bits and pieces. I'm not going to go into detail because all the detail is written um, in your pages there. So stave and notes, here you have an explanation of what a stave is, is the group of five lines that we write music on. Here it's showing you that we write notes in spaces and on lines. Pay attention to this particular uh, little uh, section here is telling you that notes that are written on lines, the line goes through the note. You can see that. Okay. Over here, this is important actually to see from the beginning of your study of music that we have notes that look different uh, in terms of whether they're colored in or they're not colored in, whether they have stems, these lines, or don't have stems and also stems go up and stems go down. It explains to you here what the stems are. It's important to see this um, because then when we go to lessons that are talking about how long notes are, this relates to that, okay? And you can see here how you've got notes on top of each other, yeah? You see that there? It means that they are sounding at the same time. Okay, let's go over here. Here, this section is talking to you about clefs. It's those signs you see at the beginning of uh, each stave. We have different types of clefs. It's all written here for you, but two clefs we use more than others. They're actually these two, the treble and the bass. All right, here you have a mention on uh, the, the names that we give to notes. A, B, C, D, F, G, and of course we need to use capital letters when we are referring to these notes. You have the piano here. This is important. I'm going to show you my piano, all right? That's the piano on the page and that's my piano. This is the middle of the piano. Now look what happens. I'm going to the left and I'm going to the right. Okay, now if I start all the way at the bottom over here, here I have my lowest notes, so these are the lowest notes. I'm playing white and black keys. Can you hear, as I'm moving to the right, the notes get higher. That's quite low, and now get higher. And here, sort of medium, yes? And then as I'm moving to the right, the notes sound higher, okay? and then back to the middle here. So I'm trying to explain to you pitch. So pitch is how low and how high notes sound. So you've got your low pitch notes sort of here. You have the middle pitch notes sort of here. Okay, here is the middle, right the middle of the piano. And you've got the high pitch notes over here. So on the right hand side of the piano, you have the high pitch notes. In the middle of the piano, you have the medium pitch notes. And on the left hand side of the piano, you've got the low pitch notes. Obviously, the left hand most of the times plays the low pitch. It can also play the, me the medium pitch, the left hand. But also, the right hand can play the middle pitch and most of the times the right hand plays the high pitch notes. So all this here is explained. Familiarize yourself with this because it is very useful. Let's go to page three. So page three is talking about notes on the lines and in the spaces. I'd like you to learn this fun thing here. Okay, all right. It's all explained over here. 
what we need to remember for the notes on the lines. Every good boy deserves fudge. You can make up your own little phrase if you want, yeah? And then what we need to remember for the notes in the spaces, face. So just spell the word face. Read this through a few times, okay? Read this through. It's actually very, very simple, uh, but it's very important that you learn this, every good boy deserves fudge and face, from memory and that you're very confident with it. You can um, ask somebody to help you and say, okay, what's the note on the second line? And then you go G. And then they ask you, what's the note in the third space? You say C and so on and so forth. Now over here, you have all these notes written down on the stave. It's just to show you that when we're moving up one note at a time by step, the notes move line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. Now I'm going to show you here, this note here, which says a C, is this one here. Okay. Now if I go one note up and I'm playing this note, that one, one note up is that D over there. I just played D which is over here. If I go one note up and I play this one, which is E, is that note here? Of course, you might ask me, um, yeah, but there are black keys as well. Don't worry about those. We're not going to talk about the black keys at the moment. We're focusing on the white keys. So if I play C, D, E, it's these three notes here. Okay. Now, over here, we're talking about middle C and the ledger lines, middle C, because it's in the middle of the piano. Okay, middle C in the middle of the piano. And over here at the bottom, it explains to you how to find C. It's actually quite simple. Look at the two black keys, one, two, and go to the left of the first, that's C. And here is another C. Look, two black keys, left C, and here's another C, and I can go higher as well, two black keys, C, and it also tells you here how to find F, three black keys, one, two, three, go to the left of the first F, here's another F, three black keys, here's another F, and um, over here it's explaining to you that when we run out of uh, lines in the stave, because we only have five, um, we need to use little lines, like these, and they're called ledger lines. Don't worry too much about these at the moment, but I just need you to be aware that they exist. And this here is very important to me, so it's showing you that middle C, here it is, and here is middle C. Okay, can you see? Middle C, and then we want that note is D, and then that note is E. And that note is F. So it's exactly lined properly. So what you see, the notes you see here, the letter of the note is above and you can see where it is on the piano. So this is the end of uh, lessons one and two. Then you have the worksheets, three pages of, uh, it's one worksheet actually, on lessons one and two. There are three pages, there are 30 questions, okay? And all the questions here, the questions and tasks actually, are based on lessons one and two. So all the answers to these questions are uh, can be found in lessons one and two. If you're having difficulty with any of these questions, as with any other uh, worksheet, go to the next question, uh, do the next question, and then go back to the one that you had difficulty with. If you're still having difficulty, go back to your lessons, yes, the four pages that we talked about, try to find the answer again, and if, if it's really not possible, I don't want you to worry too much about it. Just write underneath here, sorry, I'm not sure of the answer, and when you send me your worksheet, I will help you. So I think that's that. So we covered lessons one and two and the worksheet on lessons one and two. Have fun. Bye everybody.